Hello everyone, today I'm playing The Walking Dead. Now, uh, if I remember correctly, I was at, what was it, episode 2. That's what I did. Starved for help. On the walking dead. Yeah, this is just episode one. I know who you are. I got Watch another out. good one for you. Sort of out of order. You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah, I want my parents to come home now. And you, you keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly, you'll shift in with Doug. You got it, boss. Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. We kick his ass. That's what I'm thinking. Oh, my God. Sure I don't give a shit about what happens to you, but if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, you watch your ass. Alrighty then. This game series adapts to the choices you make. Uh, yep. <coughs> Walking Dead. Tell tell. Skybound. Take him out. Yeah. Damn it. What'd they get this time? Uh, looks like a rabbit. <sighs> well, that's another meal lost. <sighs> I still can't believe we went through all that commissary food in three months. It seemed like so much at the time. Maybe you shouldn't have opened the door. Yeah, except then I'd probably be food by now. Trust me, I have no regrets. Uh, rabbit's hardly a meal, Mark, but I'd take it. We're all hungry. No kidding. When I accidentally grabbed for Carly's rations the other night, I thought she was going to take off my hand. We're all on edge. Just cut us some slack. Yeah, you're right. I, I do wish I knew for sure how much food we had left. Alright. You'll have to ask Lily. She's the one handling the rations. Or mishandling it if you ask Kenny. He's just worried about his kid getting enough. I'll worry about Clementine, too. You think Kenny's having any more luck than we are out here? I sure hope so. Yeah, between the lack of food and Kenny and Lily fighting all the time, things are getting pretty tense back at the motor end. You know, Kenny's been talking about taking off if he can get that RV running. Uh, he's got a wife and son to look out for. And they're safest in a big group. Going out on his own will get them all killed. Can't blame him, though. Did you hear Larry going off on him last night? What's the old guy's deal, anyway? Seems like he's got a problem with you in particular. Bird. He's an old racist he's ass. An old racist ass. <laughs> well, he needs to get over that and start finding a way to pull his weight. Heart problems or not, we should all be out here trying to find food. And I know Lily thinks he's getting weaker, but the guy's all muscle. He's a walking pile driver. I know I wouldn't want to be stuck in a room with him. And didn't he punch you in the face one time? Uh, knock me flat. <coughs> Get a mark. Shoot it! Oh no! I didn't make the decision, did I? Oh, my stupid mouse wheel. He's gonna shoot it anyway, isn't he? Ah! Oh, Was that Kenny? I don't know. Come on! Run! Ah! 
Where's Kenneth? Oh crap! Oh god. Jesus Christ. Oh shit! No, no! Please don't kill us! We just want to help our teacher! We'll leave, I swear! Lee! You guys okay? Get, get it off! Get it off! God damn it! Get, get it off me! Travis! Maybe they can help! These might be the same guys that raided our camp and we barely got away from that! What guys? Why the f is there a bear trap out here? Who raided your camp? I, I don't know! Guys with guns! Why does that guy look Please, like Logan 38? I swear! Lee, this is up. We've gotta help him. Please! Ben, shut up! My dad was special forces. I know what I'm doing! Just see if you can get him out! After that, you can leave us or whatever! I don't care! Please! We'll try. Get him out of there! Oh god, thank you! Fine, but you gotta hurry! Hurry, please, hurry! Uh oh. Walkers. Lee, this trap has been altered. There's no release latch. Please get me out of this. Why is he look like back. um Harry Potter's Jim, actor? Keep those walkers off Daniel of me. Radcliffe. Uh, he's bad. He's is, he, bad. is he gonna make Just it? Accent. Please. All that blood and screaming. Please. We're gonna be surrounded oh any minute. Get Jesus is loud. Get me out of this. <gasps> Gotta get the chain. Gonna have to cut you out. No, no, no. Try the trap oh my god, we're going 127 hours leg style. Let's go! Oh god! God damn! Oh, that detail! God. He passed out. <laughs> Come on. S -s -s Prevent it from bleeding out. Wrap He's something alive. around it. Him let's go. Behind you, Travis. No. Come on, come on we gotta move. <laughs> Oh god, there he goes. The Walking Dead. Okay. Hey look, it's the racist old guy. Clementine. Intense scene. Get the gates open! We've got wounded! What the hell are they doing? Oh my god, they Come used on, the Half Life 2 sound. What happened? Oh, what the hell? Hell? What's going on? We don't have time to explain. Lee, are you okay? Get him into the truck. I'll see what I can do. Cat, okay? can you fix him? Jesus, Ken. Wait. I, I don't know. Lee! What the hell? You can't just be bringing new people here. What are you thinking? Hey, you want to calm down for a hey, minute? What no, your I don't. I want to know why you thought bringing more mouths to feed was a good idea. I thought we could save his life. I'm the one that took his leg. That makes me responsible. Well, that was a stupid thing to do. We are Shut not up, responsible for every struggling survivor we come across. We have to focus on our group, 
right here, right now. Well, hang on. We haven't even talked to these people yet. Maybe they can be helpful. Come on, Lily. These are people. People trying to survive just like us. We've got to stick together to survive. The only reason you're here is because you had food. Enough for all of us. But that food is almost gone. We've got maybe a week's worth left. And I don't suppose you guys are carrying any groceries, are you? Um, no. Fine, you guys fight it out then. Welcome to the family, kid. Come over here and see what I drew. What? Clementine. Just come on, okay? You you like to think you're the leader of this little group, but we can make our own goddamn decisions. This isn't your own personal dictatorship. Oh, come on, you're being dramatic. Everything always turns into a power struggle between you two. I'm not going to be a part of that. Hey, I didn't ask to lead this group. Everyone was happy to have me distributing the food when there was enough to go Kenny's around. Right. But now that it's running out, suddenly I'm a goddamn Nazi. Kenny's right. Yeah, you're in charge of the food and the schedules, but you're not in charge of people's lives. Really? You weren't there. Lee made a choice. End of story. Look, once Katja patches that guy up, you can kick him out of here. Send him out on their own. I couldn't care less. But they at least deserve a fighting chance against the walkers. And for the record, Kenny wanted to leave those people behind. If Kenny would pull his head out of his ass for five seconds, he'd realize that I make these decisions to protect his family. We simply don't have enough food. I don't see any of you stepping up to make the hard decisions. Shut up, racist Michael's old guy. Got more balls than all of you combined. Dad, please. Why don't you go help Mark with the wall? Right, walk away. You know what? If you think I'm doing such a job, then you do it. I'm gonna have to do a lot of censoring. That's all cheese and crackers. Today. You decide who gets to eat. What? No, I'm serious. Pick up that food and start handing it out. You see how it feels to not have enough food for everyone. Okay, I'll give it to Clementine, the boy, and uh, not the racist old guy. <clears throat> All right, apple slice, two cheese and crackers, and beef jerky. Sweet. I'll give it to Kenny as well. Ken Kenny deserves it. Hello, Logan. Alrighty. All right. Uh, how do I turn around the camera? There, alright. Clementine? What the- How you doing, Clementine? Okay. Where's your hat? I don't know. Yeah, Can where you is your hat? Can find it? Sure. Sure. When did you lose it? I had it a couple days ago. I promise. If I find it, I'll let you know. Alright. Thank you. Okay, Clem. I've got to take care of some things. Why don't you go back to playing with Duck for a while? Okay. Duck. That's his name. Duck. I have one, <coughs> two, <coughs> three, and four will go to Kenny. Here, Clem. You need something to eat. Uh, I'll give you half the apple. I love apples. Thank you. Yay! No, honey. That was a nice one. Oh. Um. Enjoy it. You deserve it. All right, duck. You get hey, duck. <coughs> the food. Not a little food. Oh, he looks so happy. You. <laughs> okay, oh, a single slice of yeah. Jockey. Oh man, I'm so hungry. <laughs> okay, <clears throat> I think I can only give. I had two cheese and crackers. Oh wait, maybe. Okay. Well, <coughs> Kenneth, you get the Want cheese and crackers. You get the yeah, cheese cracker. Take this. How about my boy? He eat yet? I already... Yeah, I gave him something. I gave him sure, a slice I'm of beef over. jerky. I'm starved. Thanks. Do I have one more slice of cheese and cracker? Keep it for yourself. Let's give it to someone else. Oh, uh, some of these people have gone longer than me without food. They're the ones that need it. I'll give it to who? <coughs> 
Yeah, sorry if I cough a lot during this video. I've been sick recently. How's um, it going, Lee? <coughs> From up here, it looks like you're playing favorites. F*** you! You ain't getting the food now, bitch. Where's the mother over there attending to the guy? I'll give her the food. Alright. Here, eat something. <sighs> Why don't you give it to Doc? I'm a little busy with your mess right now. Is he gonna be okay? I don't know. Can you give me a hand real quick? Sure, sure. what do you need? What do you need? Just apply some pressure here while I try to close this up. Okay, that's you simple. Know, I thought I was starting to get used to this, sewing up people's injuries. But I mean, cuts and bruises oh, are one shoot. thing. Oh, you got blood, blood all over this you. This man has no leg. It's what your husband wanted. <sighs> Figures. I love that man to death, but I swear sometimes he's dumber than a bag of hammers. <laughs> well, you've done all you can, Lee. Thanks for the help. Go ahead and check in on the others. Do you want the cheese and crackers or not? I still got the cheese and crackers. You don't want it? Okay, fine. I'll give the... Who? I'll give it to you. You were so cool. Uh, You get the cheese and crackers. Take the cheese and cracker! Want something to eat? Give cheese and crackers. Here. Me? How about you? You look like crap, Lee. No. When was the last time you ate? I'm like, okay. uh, two I'll weeks ago. I want you to have this, okay? In case you or Clementine starts feeling weak. No! Clementine's had I said it didn't matter why you saved apple. me instead of Doug, but... You don't owe me anything, Carly. All my days, will not someone... Okay, I'm giving it to you as a last resort. Want something to eat? You get your cat got raided probably means you haven't eaten in a while. I am really hungry. Thanks. Boom, I got his approval. That was easy! Hey! I was rational! Not Spooky. such an easy job, is it? Oh, it was very easy. I wasn't selfish. I don't envy you. I don't know how you have the strength to do this every day. I don't have a choice. <coughs> oh, be quiet, Lee. You listen hey, to me. Thanks for looking out for me and my family. Yeah, of course. See? Still, I guess some people aren't going to be happy with your choices. I don't You're care. You're out! What happened to my... Oh, boo-hoo! There's none left. You keep treating people like this. You've you got you enough calories in your body that'll last you the You're next three talk, years. Old man. Yeah, well, I don't see you working on that wall. <laughs> what now? I'll talk to this kid. I'm interested. Hey, is my friend gonna make it? I don't know, but Kaja will do her best. I promise. I can't believe you chopped off his leg. There was no other way. Uh... Are you holding up? Uh, who are you? So who are you people? Our group's gonna wanna know. I'm Ben. Ben Paul. The man ben you Paul. saved is Mr. Parker, the band director at my school. We all came down from Stone Mountain for the playoffs when, when everything happened. How are you holding up? How are you holding up, kid? Uh, well, I, uh, I keep wondering if I could have done something to help, you know? Some kind of, I don't know, something. Did all you could. You'll, You'll be, be prepared dead. next time. Next time? Yeah. Relax. We'll get your friend back to normal in no time. I sure hope so. Clem, what's up? Still have the walkie talkie? That thing doesn't work anymore, does it? <coughs> no, not since it broke at the drugstore. Just gonna hold on to it then? Yeah, if that's okay. I, um, I need it. It's okay, huh? You said they'd find us. I know, I did. And until then... Look, uh, Clementine... I'm not stupid, Lee. I know it's just pretend. But it makes me feel better. Okay, you take good care of it then. Okay. I will. Uh... You'll be okay over here? Uh-huh, I'll be okay. Alright, um... I'll talk to the mother over there. 
He looks just about done. Hola. I need space, Lee. Okay, fuck you. Is stand there doing nothing? What's this? Soup! Got plenty of soup! Look at that! And you're complaining about how we got no food. Oh my god. Will you hold the damn board steady? I'm trying. I, I didn't realize I was getting this weak already. What do you want? A handout? Oh, I got 60 cents in my pocket. If you'll shut up and quit being such a pansy. Hey, you holding up okay, Lee? I was pretty f***ed up back there, having to cut that guy's leg off. Yeah, I just hope Captain can save him. Uh... Ever, you miss, ever the miss the Air Force? Force Base? I mean, this wall isn't exactly military standard. No way I'm going back there. You saw what it was like when you guys picked me up. Completely overrun. Lily's pretty pissed at us. Listen, I know her intentions are good, but... But nothing! She's making the smart choice. Those parasites you guys brought back need to go. This guy looks like Shaw from Open Season. <laughs> need any help with the wall? Nope. Actually, we could use your axe. You might <laughs> My <have to> God. <laughs> yeah, give us that thing for a bit. <coughs> I'll give my axe. I'll give it to Mark. Here, Mark, this should help. <laughs> Not Larry. Thanks. Hey, I'm the one doing all the work over here. You didn't think to give me the axe? Well, maybe Come you on, deserve a rest. Give it a rest, man. Things are different. Being a racist is outdated. Oh, and that's what you think this is? <laughs> Is that what you told him? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. And what are you going to do about it? Look, I don't care what it is, but you two have got to start trying to get along. The only thing I have to do is protect my daughter. And right now that means getting this damn wall fixed. So <coughs> I would appreciate it if you two would shut up and let me get back to work. What, you want to say something? Say it! Ken! Lee! Come here, please! He didn't make it, did he? He lost too much blood. Oh, fuck. God damn it. I'm getting sick of the Calm down, Ken, Kenny! come back. There's nothing... What's his problem? Don't be like that, Lee. I know we've all seen death, but that doesn't make it any easier. That man you brought, I tried. But he was never going to survive. Well, at least he's not our problem anymore. What about the other kid? <laughs> oh, shoot! Whoa! Oh, 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 crap! Oh, crap! Oh! Oh, 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 damn! Oh! Holy crap! Jeez Louise! Stay down! Oh! Oh! Shit, oh! Stop. Hey, stop it! Stay away! No! Dude! Oh! Oh! Oh, Daniel Radcliffe! Oh, God! Ah! Damn. You okay? Yeah. Thanks. Don't you look at me like that. Why'd you bring him here in the first place? That Dad, calm down. You're gonna get us all killed! Why didn't you tell us he was bitten? What? He was bitten, and you didn't say a goddamn word! But he wasn't bitten, I swear! Well, your not-bitten friend here came back to life and tried to kill my wife! What? Wait, you all don't know? What the hell are you talking about? It's not the bite that does it. You come back no matter how you die. Oh! You don't destroy the brain, that's just what happens. It's gonna happen to all of us. But why? We're all infected? Everyone? I... I guess so. I don't know, I... All I know is that I've seen people turn who I know were never bitten. When I first saw it happen, we were all hiding out in a gym, and everybody thought we were finally safe. 
But one of the girls, Jenny Pitcher, I think, I guess she couldn't take it. She took some pills. A lot of them. Someone went in the girls' room the next morning and... God. Back off! Hello. Whoa, lady, relax. Me and my brother, we we just want to know if y'all can help us out. I said back off, Carly. Are you armed? Yeah, for protection. Dead could be anywhere. But uh, I think you got the upper hand here. Why do you need gas? Our place is protected by an electric fence. Generators provide the electricity. <coughs> Our generators run on gas. Look, we own a dairy farm a few miles up the road. If y'all These guys look like they're lying. Guns, we, we can talk about some kind of trade. How y'all doing on food? We got plenty at the dairy. I ain't going there. Hey, I don't why trust don't you them. and Mark check the place out? See if it's legit. Really? I'm going with you. I got your back if anything seems fishy. So, uh, what do y'all think? You've got a deal. <coughs> we'll bring some gas to your dairy. In exchange, you give us some food to bring back. We'll see how it goes from there. Sounds fair. A couple gallons should power one of our generators for a while. I don't trust so, him still. Dairy. You guys really have food? Sure do. We lost most of the cattle, but we still have lots of milk, butter, and cheese stocked up. And with the vegetables we grow, we got plenty of food. Alrighty. It's nice to get away from that motel for a while. This Lily Kenny thing is starting to get ridiculous. Personally, I'd be happier if you started to take charge more. Yeah. Me as a leader. You think they'd want me for a leader? Sure. Everybody looks up to you. Well, yeah, I'd be like uh, Martin Luther King or because Barack of Obama. Does anyone else know? What? I didn't hear that because I was talking over you. Uh, I'll just do that. You've got to let go of that guilt. The Lee I know is a good man. Clementine might know. She was there when we were talking in the drugstore and asked me about it. I lied to her, but... What exactly did happen with the senator? <coughs> you know what I You know what happened. I only know what the press was told. I don't know your story. Sometimes I wonder if I should talk to the group about it. You don't have to. Whatever happened before things went to hell doesn't matter anymore. Not sure everyone would see it that way. Maybe you're right. Listen, over the years I've reported on some pretty messed up shit. I've seen situations like yours a hundred times. It doesn't have to make you a bad man. I am. Uh... I really appreciate that. I mean, thank God Lee showed up when he did. Right, Lee? Yeah, why don't you tell us a little more about yourself, Lee? Where are you from? Grew up... The motel in is my new home. I move uh, around a lot. Hard to call any place home, I guess. I used to move around a bit myself, but the dairy will always be home to me. Y'all seem pretty settled in at that motor inn. Uh, who's running things over there? <sighs> What's her face, Lily? She runs a pretty tight ship. Her and her dad are ex-military. Yeah, she knows her <laughs> but she needs to know when to back off sometimes. How many people you got over there, anyway? Uh... Nine, including the kids. You forgot Ben. Me? That makes it ten. Well, we'd love to get you all out to the dairy. Like I said, we got plenty of food, and quite frankly, we could always use an extra helping hand. In the summers, I used to help out on a goat farm. Yeah, that's great. Everything helps. Mom's been running the dairy for well, as long as I can remember, but uh, now it's... You getting... think you're going to cut me out of this? Get down. No one's trying to cut you out of anything. Oh, damn, it's a Counter-Strike character. Oh, I saw that guy. That was from Poker Night, wasn't he? In the intro. Who are they? Fuck you. You knew we were hungry, and you guys were keeping it up. There's only two of them. Yeah, and you know what? We ate it all. What are you gonna do about it? Don't worry, Danny and I got you covered if something happens, but let's just wait this out and hope they move on. You. Oh! You. Jesus! That's the guy from the uh the no not Counter Strike the Poker Night at the Inventory Two intro. Another Telltale game.
So who are all those guys again? Oh, so they were lions. St. John Family Day. Y'all can see how we kept this place so safe. The fence keeps them out? You betcha. They fry like bugs in a zapper. We're pushing 4,000 bolts through that thing with generators and amps. I'm going to assume that's a lot. Oh, woman. We've got kids in our group. Doesn't seem safe to have them near a lethal fence. Oh, don't worry about that. We got plenty to keep them entertained. This place looks untouched. You never know the rest of the world is in ruins. It's worth protecting. Hence all the juice. I thought I saw y'all with company coming down the drive. Guys, this is our mama. I'm Brenda St. John, and welcome to the St. John Dairy. This here's Lee. He moves around a lot, but things the way they are, maybe we can convince him to stick around for a while. They got a few more friends staying at the old motel. Oh my goodness, that place is pretty <coughs> vulnerable. Have you got someone with survival experience to lead your group? Quite a bit, yes. Uh... Lily. She's tough as nails and keeps us focused on what it takes to survive. Lily was in the military, like me. Well, that's good to hear. That motel ain't the safest place. Now that y'all are here, we'll make sure you're safe and comfortable. Does that offer apply to the rest of us? We're all incredibly hungry. These are for y'all. Baked fresh this morning. What are those? Amazing. Can't get stuff like that anymore. Not without a cow for milk and butter, that's for sure. That's right. Hopefully Maybell will make it through this bout of whatever she's got and be with us for a good long while. Why does every Your single cow, cow have the name Maybell? Well, we have a vet. But we could bring her here. But we can help you folks out. A vet? Oh my! Our prayers have been answered! Maybe our whole group could come. For the day. Well, how about this? Y'all go get your veterinary friend and I'll prepare some dinner. A big feast for all you hungry souls. It'll be nice to have some folks to help out around here again. Danny, why don't you come help me out in the kitchen? Why don't I head back with the food and round up everyone for the trip over here? Might want to take someone with you. Remember, those roads can be dangerous. I can handle myself. Take this. Why don't you go ahead and take Ben along and... Take care of yourself, Lee. See you in a while. I can't get over how that Lee, guy looks like why Logan don't you take a look around. Once you get settled in, I could use some help securing the perimeter. Is there a problem? Sometimes the dead get tangled up in the fence before they fry and end up knocking over a post. It'd be a big help if you could walk the perimeter. You can learn a little something about our fence. I'm gonna go top off the generators before they run dry. Come get me when you're ready. You betcha. This place is incredible. It's got food. And that fence? Oh man, that fence. If we play our cards right, this might turn out to be a place we can stay. So how do you want to play this? They're offering us food. We should do whatever we can to make these people like us. The way Brenda was talking, I get the feeling like she'd be happy to have us stay. All the more reason for us not to fuck this up. If Andy needs some help securing the perimeter, then that's what we do. All right. Where's the guy I was supposed to help? Oh, you, right? Hi. Hi. Well, I'm glad you guys decided to help us out. I noticed back in the motel that you folks are pretty well armed. Been stockpiling, huh? We've scraped together a good supply in the last few months. How about yourselves? What kind of protection do you have around here? We collected a few guns to protect ourselves, but we really only use them when we go off the property. When we're inside the perimeter, the fence is all we need to keep us safe. An electric fence is enough to keep out walkers? Walkers? <laughs> is that what you call them? <laughs> That's good. Uh, the old one wouldn't have, but Mac, he was our foreman. 
He figured out how to amp it up with the generators. We used to sit out here some nights and watch the sons of bitches sizzle and pop when they got too close. Closest thing to entertainment these days, I guess. These generators are enough to power the whole dairy? We got lots, and we gotta keep trading for fuel as much as we can, but they all work together to do the trick. Like us? Mark and I can help you with that perimeter now. Oh, good. Fence will stop a walker in about three or four seconds, but it gets overloaded if we leave the husks out there. You know, Mark and I can clear the fence ourselves if you want to stay here and finish up with the generators. <laughs> well, that'd be great. I'll turn off the northwest section, and uh, if you guys could strip them off and look for any weak points, well, that'd be a big help. Sounds easy enough. Stay attentive. You never know. Alrighty. This is a Do you large think we're place. Doing enough to get the St. John's to like us? Well, we don't want to seem over anxious. Showing them we can handle this fence is going to go a long way. I can't wait until everyone's out here. Everyone besides Larry. Why the hell did you have to tell him I thought he was a racist? <laughs> As if tensions weren't high enough. Sorry, man. It just it popped out. I mean, you did admit it right to his face. He's a piece of a piece of way. Relax. You're not making things any better riling him up. There's one. Ugh. Lee, it's dead. Come on, let's push it off. Let's take the arrow first. Can we take the arrow? Yeah. Disgusting. Oh, I know. Come on, I'm sure there's still a few more. Once this fence is patched up, this place will be a fortress. God, can you imagine not having to worry about the walkers anymore? A fortress needs people to defend it. We've got enough people. So what's your take on the brothers? They seem to have this place tied down pretty well. We've got enough people to take this place by force if we have to. Sheesh, Lee. You sound like Kenny. There's another one. I see it. Ooh. Damage. Uh. Let go. Uh. Oh, dear God. You never get used to the smell, do you? <laughs> nope. Don't you want to unclip Christ. the hands? I can't stop thinking about dinner. Would have been nice to get some of those rations. I get hungry too, you know. I'm hungry too, Mark. Do you think they're going to be good for it? Dinner for a whole group of people? If they've got as much food as they say, I, I think so. Uh-oh. Come on, I think I see where they're getting in. This one must have knocked it over trying to get through. He's tangled up in there pretty good. Come on, help me get this thing back Split in place. Split him so in the different pieces. Crispy off of here. I think we'd get better leverage from the other side. Good idea. <clears throat> if you're waiting for that guy to help, it ain't gonna happen. <laughs> Come on. Little help here, Lee? Holy oh! What happened? The fences are on. Why the hell would he turn the fence on? He knows we're out here. Oh! What the? Oh no! It's the enemies. It's the other guys. Get down! We have Now you. Who the is that? No idea. Now what? With the fence on, that gate is our only way out. Move! Damn it! You didn't do good! Now we're gonna take our arrangement! Let's go! 
Come on, let's move. What? <laughs> I was not moving. Oh! Come on. If we can reach the gate, we can get through this fence and back to the house. Ah! Shit! It's got a. That would take what we want. Uh oh. What happened? It's one of the dead we pushed down earlier. I'm gonna have to move. Oh god damn it. Another one? How many of those Another things did we one. push down? Why don't they just walk right down here and just shoot us with the arrows? Oh god! How are you still alive? Duh! Oh crumb! Oh ho Yeah. Uh, Come on. Oh god, no. <laughs> god. Oh no. Come on. There we go. Thank you. Let's get out of here. Close the gate before you do. <laughs> Come on, man. You just left the gate open. <laughs> Lee, what's wrong? It was a goddamn ambush out there. Holy sh! Are you okay? Bandits here on our property? Oh my lord! What happened to you, sweetheart? It was those bastards in the woods, Mama? Yeah, I'll be all right once it's out. God damn it, hurts. Hey, y'all. Mark. Oh my god, what happened? He got shot with an arrow. Christ, are you gonna be okay? Yeah. Why'd you bring him? I should just pull it out. Oh no, honey, come on, Brenda's got you. Come on inside now. We'll have you all sorted out. Well, you must be the best. What kind of sh is this? We ran into some people on the way up here. Bandits, I guess. I think it was them that attacked us. They gave us a lot of problems in the beginning. Killed a bunch of our farmhands. We were able to get them to stop by making a deal. You knew about these people? Food for protection. Not like we had much of a choice, but they did stop hassling us. God damn it. Carly said this place was locked down tight. Maybe it isn't as safe here as we thought. Look, we're sorry. We, we never had them screw with us like this. Not since we started giving them food. Listen, we may have had an agreement with those people, but we will not stand for this Ain't no way we're gonna let those sons of get away with this. You know where these are? They're hard to pin down, but I think I know where at least one of their camps are. When you're ready to go scope out that bandit camp, come find us. Bandits? Are you serious? This place isn't safe. We can't stay here. Not safe? This place is a hell of a lot safer than that motor inn. <coughs> I think all of us and our guns can handle a couple of punks with bows and arrows. What we need to do is find a way to get our whole group out here to stay. Take this place over if we have to. Whoa, cool your jets there, Rambo. These are nice people. Let's not do anything to get us thrown out before we eat. I'm gonna head out and help Dan deal with these bandits. You guys should try to make friends with Andy and Brenda while I'm gone. Well, that's easy. I got charm coming out of my ass. Yeah, that's real charming, Dad. Where's Ben and Carly? Since Carly and Ben ate some of the food on the way to get us, she volunteered to stay behind and watch the motor in until we get back. Hey, uh, I remember seeing kids in your group, so I went ahead and fixed that swing while you were out. I hope your kids like swings. A swing! I love swing. swings! Just like at my treehouse! Come on, Doc! Why don't you kids go and play on the swing, huh? Yeah! It's one swing. Anytime. We're looking out for you. 
All right, where are the kids? Oh, uh, oh. Uh. No, wait, can I push? Uh, he's pushing. Hey, Clem, what's up? Hey, Clem, <coughs> do you like the swing? Yeah. You haven't even gone on it. Be sure to tell Andy thank you, okay? I will. Will you push me? Oh, I forgot about a hat. Sure. Sure. Happy to push you on the swing. Mind if Clementine takes a turn? All right, Duck. Let Clementine have a try for a bit. Okay. Clem. Time for some bonding time with Clementine. Uh, do you think of what do you think, do you of, think of the dare? It's pretty. It reminds me of how things used to look before. Her hands are clipping through the rope. Do you think things will ever get back to how they were? Uh, yes. Yeah. Not sure when. One day, things. Are <coughs> That's good. I hope it's soon. Yeah, me too. Uh, we're don't safe. Don't worry, we're safe here now. As long as the bad people don't get me too, right? I yep. Let what happened to Mark happen to you. Promise? I promise. How you doing? Holding up every time. I'm okay, I guess. Are you okay? Yeah. yeah. I'm just a little worried about Mark. Is Mark going to be okay? You're lucky out there. Yes, he is. Been a lot worse. Are you going to find the people who hurt Mark? Yeah, yeah and I'll sure hurt them. Don't hurt anyone else. Be careful. I want you to stay lucky too. Ever since I met you, I've had good luck, so don't worry. Okay. All right, Clint. That's enough for now. Okay. Thanks for pushing me. Of course. It's all yours. Yeah. Okay, Duck. Don't pop a gasket. Does that mean? <laughs> oh my God! I do not understand Southern slang. All right, let's go in. <coughs> Hello? Fellas, how you feeling, mate? Look, I'm really sorry you almost got killed out there. Uh, we should have told you how dangerous it was. No f You saw what they did to your buddy. Nobody's safe here until we start to fight back. But how? The two of us should go out and do some recon. Then we'll all mount up for some revenge. Hell yeah. yeah. Who the are these people in the woods? We don't know. I think some of them used to work at the big box up the way. Save lots. Yeah. Anyway, they're nutty as all hell and get <laughs> mad when they're hungry. So are you ready to head out there and find their camp? Yeah, John Stamos. Yeah, we gotta work together on this. Those bandits are a danger to everybody. Let's do it. I'll stay here and hold down the fort. Remember, we're just doing reconnaissance for now. No use getting ourselves killed. Clementine, you stay here. Are you going now? Yeah, I'll be back soon, Clementine. Please be lucky. I will. I am lucky. <coughs> I'm the definition of lucky. Lucky's my little name. See anything? Not yet. I know it's around here. It's gotta be close. Soup. <coughs> Here. Oh, sh you found it? Bless their head off. Something's gonna happen when I get close. You see anybody? Looks empty. Looks empty. Listen. Watch my back, Lee. I'm gonna check the, out the, the tent. tent. Okay, you're checking the tent. Nothing. 
camp's too small. It can't be their main base. That's what I was thinking. Take a look around anyway. There's probably some shit around here they stole from us. What's this? Milk? Nothing. That's milk! Unless it's empty. Empty? Is there a reason why I moved that box? Tent looks pretty new. Anybody inside? Two sleeping bags. One of them's kid sized. Oh. So they either have a really, really short person or a child. Hmm. Looks like they were moving a lot of stuff. What's in the boxes? They're all from save lots. The first few days they told folks to gather to the save lots by the interstate. Anything worth taking? This is too much stuff for just one person. Trust me, these selfish bastards don't stop taking. Probably just to remind us that it's theirs. Oh, St. John's. Boxes from the dairy here. Probably the food we've been giving them. F across the line. Oh. Detonator. Detonator. Detonator, where? Michael! What do you find? Oh, it's a camera. A video camera. Let me see that. Battery's dead, though. Oh, good. What else they got over here? Let's see if we can find anything useful and then get a move on. I see you handled that gun I lent you pretty well. You a hunter? No, but Lily keeps us all on a regular training schedule. Lily, right. You did say she was running things for you. Sounds like you picked a good leader. Uh, we didn't really pick, per se. Alrighty. Uh, can't go down there. Just water. Cook some. <coughs> Take a seat. Looks like they expected to be here a while. Hmm. Oh, a rabbit. A rabbit. Oh, man. I heard a branch snap. See the walker or them? Oh, the wait. Hell? Don't oh. Oh. Put your guns down. I ain't Look at that woman's head. <laughs> Jolene ain't going back. Hey, we had a deal. No shooting as long as we gave you food. What the f happened? You had a deal with them. I ain't them. Oh, I know you. I know what you are. And I know what you do. You don't know me. Steal my sh Steal everything from me. We're looking for the people who attacked the dairy and shot my friend. I don't know where they are. But they ain't here. So get the f out of my camp. She's lying, Lee. Now maybe you didn't she is. Right. When I asked you, sweet, put your damn guns down. You think I won't kill you? I'm gonna take this here crossbow and put a nice sharp arrow. I don't think she's lying. Eyeball. She seems like a you sociopath. Goddamn brain. You're not men. You're monsters. All men are monsters. Take she's a crazy you feminist shoot! Destroy it all. Take a can of beans. Take a little girl. Something Say to you. Screw this. Y'all wave them guns like you're looking at. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sheesh. <laughs> what the hell did you do that for? <laughs> she was crazy. Deal with them. You heard her? She was too far gone. She was a freak show. But you didn't have to kill her. 
We got a free crossbow. I mean, I know she was crazy, but damn. Yeah! I got an achievement for doing that. I think. I don't think I really did, actually. It's a clean shot, though. Right through the forehead. That's good shooting right there. Still, what a waste. So, that's it. We going back? If they ain't here, I don't know where they are. And it ain't a good idea to go tromping through the woods looking for them. So yeah, we head back. Once they see this, they'll get the message. That's right. I don't know that child, where that child is, but uh, I don't care. We got a crossbow, Clementine's hat, some food. Come on. <coughs> uh, that's it. Did I take Clementine's hat, by the way? Because I should take that. Don't look bad. Oh, there's brain matter all over the place. Quick loading screen right there. Did you see that? Man, that was a hell of a ride, huh? What? You were a madman back there. Took that crazy down. You're back. What Hello. happened? Lee took care of it. This isn't what Terry would have wanted. Who's Terry? My husband. Well, miss him every day. Then screw it up for everybody, then. Why don't you? Oh, oh, calm great. down, princess. I'll do it myself. <coughs> What's going on with them? Don't know. Squabbling looks like. A lot of tension with y'all, huh? Yeah. Yeah, you could say that. They don't exactly see eye to eye on how we should be doing things. Well, it's probably just the hunger talking. And Lee, don't worry your head about them bandits. I'm sorry you've seen more violence than I'd have thought in your short time, but you all are safe here. Don't worry. I think I'll go have a look around. Don't wander too far. Dinner will be ready before you know it. And thank your friend Koch again for me. She and the kids are in the barn with the cattle. That woman is a lifesaver. Hello, Clementine. I caught her hat. Let's give it to her. Oh, crap. Clementine. I got your hat. Is it about the storm? Sounds like. A Clem. It's okay, Clementine. You can pet her. What's her accent? It's it sounds okay, so ahead. Scandinavian. says Mabel could have a baby tonight. We'll see, Clementine. What's this thing? Daddy said it's called a salt lick. Yeah, but don't lick it. It's gross. What? Did you lick it? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh my god, this is the most realistic depiction of a child ever. Here, Clementine. My hat! You found it! I knew you'd find it! You said you would! Let's, Yay! Did you give your hat to anyone? No. Did you see any strangers around the motorhead who might have taken it? No. Why? It's probably nothing. Just let me know if you ever see anything like that. Okay, I will. Hey, Lee. Do you think you'll ever have kids? Uh... Well, there's... Plenty of women in this camp, but I'd like to someday. Maybe a little girl like you. That's nice. You'd be a good daddy. Well, thanks for finding my hat. Clementine's adorable, welcome, man. Do you want to pet the cow with me? Oh my god, I absolutely do. My brethren! 
She looks skinny. No, she does not. Uh, that could be the angle, actually. <coughs> How do I pet? How do you like that cow, Clint? She's pretty. Maybell. Talk to you. Hey there, Andy. Yeah. How's the cow? How's the cow? Well, better now we got Doc on the case. We met this woman up in the woods. She seemed to know your brother. Uh, yeah, he, uh, he probably talks a little more than he ought to. <coughs> uh. Um, when do you think, uh, we might eat? Hungry, huh? <laughs> Don't worry. Mama's cooking up some good grub. Thanks. Yep. Alright. So what's in here? <coughs> oh god. I almost threw up. What's this photo? Oh, that's the camera thing. Alright. Let's leave. See you, Clem. Oh my god, it's <laughs> the echoing. <coughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, great. So, how does a woman like yourself run this whole place? Why couldn't okay, you act like that with fine. me? Plus, I have you my racist bastard. I couldn't do it without him. Let's get out of here. Oh look, there's Lily. Screw you, Nazi. Can I go inside by any chance? <coughs> we'll uh, we'll finish talking later. Of course, he walks away. He's a racist. <laughs> he's just a big old sweetheart, ain't he? No, he's uh, not. Don't know if I would have used those words exactly. He's Don't big and old, him. but he ain't His a sweetheart. This world is bringing out the worst in people. But if you really look, you'll catch a glimpse of humanity every now and then. Uh. Uh, not to be rude, ma'am. How come you're out here instead of, you know? <laughs> oh, you want to know why I'm not slaving away in the kitchen? Is that it? Uh, no, no, I didn't mean for it to sound like that. Oh, it's okay, darling. Got it slow cooking in the oven. Should be ready before too long. Uh, we ran into some trouble out there. I was just glad you two weren't hurt. Those bandits just don't know when to quit. But my <coughs> boys, they can hold their own. The boy is nuts. Before she died, we met a woman out there at her camp. She wasn't one of those bandits. Sounded like they did something pretty bad to her. And your marauders are still out there. I think all them folks out in the woods had drug problems. What does that have to do with anything? Means you can't trust them. Any of them. That's right. Let's go. I think I'll go have a look around. Kind of peaceful out here, ain't it? Enjoy it while you can. You'll probably start hearing those monsters frying against the fence before too long. All right. What now? Ah, oh, my palm. Why did that just randomly hurt? Hey, what's your name? Can I sit on that? All fixed. That should make everyone happy. Can I like ex? No. Uh, I'll talk with you. Hello. You really like that guy. What's not to like? <coughs> uh. Ah. <coughs> uh. It's, it's just, just a gun. And that's where you're wrong. This is Charlotte. She's Charlotte. as faithful as a starving hound when you got a bone in your pocket. How do you run this place with just one cow? Used to have more. They get hungry too. Or sick. Got your doctor friend here now, though. You guys must trade for a lot of fuel to keep the generators running, right? People get hungry, and a few loaves of bread fetch a high price. Y'all are lucky you're on this side of the deal now. This is us, awesome. You guys are pretty out in the sticks here. Hard to find. You get many visitors? Not anymore. Bandits, of course. 
Used to get these school kids on tours back before the dead time. I'm gonna go wait for supper then. It'll be a good one. Right? Ah. <coughs> I was petting my dog when I was talking to him. Had to set her down on the bed. Uh. <coughs> What's this? I ain't doing work, no. I'll talk with you, rather. See if, if I can calm things down between you two. I really do not like that storm. Talk to the racist first. Hello, racist. I can't... What's your name again? Larry? So, Larry, it uh, looks like you're getting along with Brenda pretty well. You know, for a nice change of pace, how about you try and mind in your own business? Okay, you want to be an ass and I don't want to talk to you anymore. I try to be hey, nice. so what happened at the camp? Did you guys find any more of those guys that hurt Mark? Well, we found a woman. We found a woman in the woods. She was talking all crazy with a crossbow pointed right at my head. So I had to kill her. Jesus Christ! Did you at least get some goddamn food? No, nothing. I knew it. It was a mistake coming here. What were you and Kenny arguing about when I came back from the camp? He's losing it, Lee. He comes over and starts talking about searching the barn and that these people are hiding something. But you told him to mind his own goddamn business, right? <laughs> we guests here. We don't need to be overstaying our welcome more than we already are. The way I see it, we just need to skip the dinner and get our food to go. But I'm starting to think your friend over there has another agenda. Which one? <coughs> Let's talk about your dad right in front of him. <coughs> hey, uh, can I talk to you in private for a second? Okay. No, I want him to hear this. He's a racist. It's been three months. Your dad still treats me like I'm some kind of Yeah, well, don't expect that to change. That's just how he is. Look, my dad can be an ass sometimes, I know that, but he's not a bad guy. He just, I, he's got a lot of pain. He's um, been through so much. And I don't lost believe him. Pretty much everything. And it's hardened him, you know? Yeah, he's bitter and hateful, but that's all just to protect himself. And me. All he's got left in the world is me. And that goes both ways. So yeah, he's probably going to keep treating you like crap, but that's just because he still has one thing left to care about. So don't judge him. Don't judge me for sticking by him. He's my dad. And I love him. Uh, I did not believe one thing you said there. Um. How do you feel about leaving the motor in? It's a welcome change of scenery. I don't know. If we just stayed where we were, then Mark wouldn't have ended up with an arrow in his shoulder. Did you get the feeling something's <coughs> going on here? What makes you say that? Well, you just said about Kenny. Camp? Uh, it's nothing. Uh, don't worry about it. Paranoia just getting to me a little bit. I know what you mean. These backwoods people always give me the creeps. If you ask me, we should just get our dinner and leave. Come on now. We don't want to be rude. I'm gonna go check things out. Just don't get too nosy. These kinds of people are usually pretty protective of their privacy. Yeah. And what do you mean? You, you poking think? your nose where it don't belong and getting us thrown out in our asses. Alright. Where's Kenneth? Was he in here? Or should I go <coughs> talk to the lady? Because I want to go see Mark. Pardon me, Brenda. What's on your mind, Lee? How's Mark, How's doing? Mark doing in there? Best patient I ever had. Oh, my boys get so much as a scratch and start hollering. He can definitely teach them a thing or two about being tough. I'd still like to check on him. 
You're gonna have to trust me on this, Lee. I've helped stitch my share of wounds. I know what I'm talking about. Think I'll go have a look around. Don't wander too far. Dinner will be ready before you know it. Okay, what can I do now? <sighs> I'll go see Kenneth in the bar. I mean, barn, no bar. This is so dark in there. Hello? Alright, where's Kenneth? That's not Kenneth, is it? No, it's not. Where's Kenneth? Duck's here. Where is... <coughs> where is he, actually? She looks skinny. I don't believe that at all. Alright, I've got to find Kenneth. <laughs> Where's Kenneth? Do I have to do this labor over here? Because I don't want to. I guess Mark and I were lucky we weren't touching this thing when it came on. Hmm. Uh, let's do something. Multi-tool. That should be handy. I'm just gonna borrow this for a second. What am I doing? Is that a KKK hat? There's a couple of tools nope. out in the open is as unsafe as it gets. We'll be fine here. Would have been nice to have one of these back at the motor end. I'll bet they go through a lot of wood keeping those fences repaired. What can I use these pliers for? Ugh. They walk over there. Slowly but surely. Storing gasoline all over the property. You can definitely tell they built this thing themselves. <coughs> Do some exploring. All right, I'll go talk to Duck. Cause they've got nothing better to do. Waiting on food. Alright, hello duckling. Have I missed anything? No, not really. Hmm, it smells funny in here. Cow. Like sh right Lee? Oh my god. Hey, don't use swear words, okay? Okay. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Just like in Life is Strange too when Daniel starts swearing, it's so funny. Hey there, Andy. Yeah, thanks. Yep. Is that why? <laughs> hey there, Andy. Thanks. <laughs> this. Uh, <coughs> How do you like that? God, my coffee tags are coming back. She's pretty. Uh, let's climb. Nothing. I don't assume that there would be much in these <coughs> places, would there? Oh, there's boxes. Uh, but whatever. Oh, oh, oh. It's a behind. You found it too, huh? Oh, Lee, they're hiding something behind this door. I got a quick look. They got boxes of stuff, something metal and sharp. Don't get paranoid. 
It's my job to be paranoid, Lee. I got my whole family on this farm right now. How about you? Oh, about Clementine. Clem? I'll protect her no matter what. I know you will. Look, that guy with Katya, what's his name? He locked it up real tight the second we came in. I definitely heard a noise back there, Lee. What? You know, maybe that they're paranoid about us. For sure. So go find a hammer or something, and I'll have this thing off in a second. You back me up in case them farmers come running. I don't. I'm not I doing that. This through. You smash the lock. Then what if it turns out you're wrong? You just <laughs> your chance to get a good meal in those kids you're trying to protect. Use your head, Kenny. All right, Professor. What'd you have in mind? Let me have a look at what we're dealing with first. I don't want to do that. Hey, Lee. You know how to pick a lock, right? No. Are you saying that because I'm black? Well, racist. You know, urban. Oh, you are not saying what I think you're saying. <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> you man, know, I'm from Florida. Too. Crazy <laughs> just comes out of my mouth sometimes. Sorry. <laughs> hmm. What? See those screws? Instead of breaking the padlock, we can just take off the assembly, have a peek inside, and then replace it all again like nothing ever happened. All right. Sounds like you got a plan. I'll hang around and keep an eye on that guy with the cow. Andy. I thought that was Danny. <coughs> Whatever. Can I help you boys find something? <laughs> Just checking out the barn here. Never been to a dairy farm before. Just don't roam around without me or Danny. The farm can be a dangerous place. You know, the bandits and all. Sorry about your friend. Hey, uh, do me a favor. Don't around with this door, okay? Just, you know, mama gets nervous. Andrew, I need your help again. No problem. Right away, Doc. Alright. Extract Andy to get him out of the barn. Hey there, Andy. Yeah. Why do you lock that door? Because we can't afford to lose our to the people in the woods. Uh, they come down here every once in a while, raid our stuff, even with the fence. Danny mentioned he needed something. Did he say what? Uh, uh, can't remember now. Sorry. <sighs> all right, all right. Be right back, Doc. All right, Kenneth. I have pliers, but I picked up something I think could help with. The oh lock. wait, it was a multi-tool plier. Right, here. All right, come on. Multiplier, mark plier. Okay, let's do this. False alarm. I'm back. Sugar. All right. Hello. Hey there, Andy. Hey yeah. there, Andy. Danny needs something Danny again. Danny needs something again. All right, all right. He hasn't even seen right me back, leave huh? the barn, but he still goes anyway. <coughs> He's gonna catch on eventually. Come on. Okay, let's do this. False alarm. Oh my I'm days. Back. Okay, maybe I go get Danny. Screw around. And something will happen. Maybe I'll light the barn on fire, and then they're like, "Oh no!" And then, and then I get to go in there and take a peek at what's in that barn locked door. <coughs> oh god! Wait, I could turn off this. Do I really want to do that though? Oh my god! All right, that'll be simple, though. Damn, this thing is the worst piece of <laughs> Something's always tripping the breaker. That was not good enough. Danny, could you do something? Hello. I'm gonna go wait for supper then. It'll be a good one. Okay. 
What else can I do? Don't worry, I've got a multi-tool. Ow! Damn it! The thing is moving fast! Ow! Damn it! The thing is moving fast! Ow! Damn it! The thing is moving fast! Looks like that belt's driving me out. What you gonna call it? What do I do? What do I do? Oh, uh. Uh. <clears throat> that thing is all too tight for my bare hands. There, that should do it. I legit. Did I really just do that? Don't mind me, uh, Andy. I'm just gonna take a look at the barn. Uh, see ya. Oh, he's gonna be pissed when I find out I did that. Relax, we just need to. Just gotta play it cool. I'll blame it on Kenneth should things go wrong. Little Clementine, keep watch! Mom, Dad, dinner time! It's dinner time! Dinner time! Okay, honey, let's get back. Dad! Dad! Come on! Let's eat! Oh my Penny, god, this is the along, worst honey. voice Penny, acting come ever. On. Don't make the children wait. I'll make an excuse for you. Get that thing off. Okay, bye. What's the excuse? I'm at the toilet? Uh, boink. Mm, screw's holding it to the door. If I can remove him, I don't even need to deal with the lock. Alright, let's use. Boink. Okay, maybe, like, don't lose him. You got in that back room. Look, we have food here, but Danny and I still got to do a lot of hunting to keep everyone fed. When we catch something in the woods, we skin it and dress it back there. Mama doesn't like us to make a mess in the house, so you see, nothing to worry about. I trust you, but I don't at the same time. It's believable, but it can be both ways. And he doesn't seem that pissed about oh, it. it. You wow. are an angel. Oh, Excuse me, miss. We had to block the back door after a walker got upstairs. Don't worry. That was a while ago, and I ain't been back inside since. Okay. Sit down. I'll go get but he did say oh, he did, he did say he has it for delight. defense. I can eat a horse. Where's mom? Now don't you? Oh. Him. I've already brought some food up. You just let him rest. Mm. Mind if I wash my hands first? Bathroom's right outside in the hall. And be sure to get under your nails. You've been mucking around in the dirt all day. Okay. Here's the thing. I think this game is leaning towards the fact that they're killers. 
but in reality they're not. So I'm gonna act as if they're not for now. Keep moving, just keep moving, just keep moving, 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 just keep moving, just keep moving. Uh, yeah. Okay. Is he in here? Here is. What else is there up here? Oh, blood. Oh, dear God. Okay, I was wrong. Oh no. Mark. What the hell happened? Uh, brothers. What the hell happened to your legs, man? Don't eat dinner. Did you fall, Oh god. The <laughs> killers! Clementine! Clement! Clem! Clementine! Don't eat that! What? Huh? Lee, Jesus, man. Did you find something? Aw, oh, sit your ass down, Lee. This lady has made you a meal. Yeah, Lee, what's gotten into you? He just had a start. He could use some goddamn manners. Mark is upstairs with his legs cut off. You're eating him. That's crazy. The hell? You're scaring the kids, Lee. Lee, what the hell is wrong with you? Don't indulge him, Lily. It's always something with this guy. Mom, I was eating that. They're picking us off to trade as me. You're out of your skull. Mark is upstairs right now with no legs! Brenda, tell me he's not being eaten right now. Oh, God. It's true. Everything could have turned out okay for you folks. He would have died anyway. We gotta think about living. Settle down, honey. Growing up in rural Georgia, you're taught not to waste. It's how I was raised and how I raised my boss. Now, you got monsters roaming around that do nothing but eat people. And for what? To continue to rot till they eat some more. We think we can put that meat to better use. You're all sick. Sick in the head. Lee, that's not a very nice thing to imply. Andy is right. We go after folks who were gonna die anyways. One way or another. Like y'all. Oh god. Kenny, get the gun! Kenny, no! Nobody's going anywhere! <coughs> Good. We got lots of use for y'all right here. Oh god, this is exactly like Texas Chainsaw Mask. Put your guns down! We're walking out of here! I don't want to die. Mommy, what did I eat? We're screwed. Lee? Lee? No! I'll kill you! Oh, he's oh, he's a walker. He's a walker. Tear you 
Let's hunt with my bear hat. We gotta find another way out of here. Where are we? Hey, bastards! Open this door, God damn it! I will knock the goddamn door down. Hello, Clem. It, it was a person. They tried to make us eat a person. But you didn't do it. No. The rest of us did, God damn it! If you hadn't dragged your feet! Come on, Dad. Oh, shut up, you racist. Fine. You okay, Clementine? They, they didn't hurt you, did they? Mm -mm. Oh, back up! Lee, those psychos have my family, and we're stuck in a damn meat locker! We gotta get the f*** out of here! This goddamn thumb sucker was the one who brought us here! Did you, you just call me? The f up? I'm scared. Don't be. It's gonna be okay. I'm gonna find us a way out of here. You're, you're worse than a whopper! Dad, please! Hmm. Please settle down! I'll, I'll break that damn door down! Dad, you can't get- uh, uh, Oh, good, he's dying please again. Oh, God. Dad? Oh, wait, no, when he dies, he's gonna become a walker! <laughs> oh, God, no. No. Dad, come on! Dad! God, he stopped breathing. I think he's had a heart attack. Is he dead? He's not dead! Somebody help me! If he's dead... He's not dead! Why did the music just suddenly go up for a second? You saw that poor bastard at the motel? How fast he turned? What are you saying? Lily, I'm sorry. I truly, truly am. But in a few minutes, we're gonna be stuck in a locked room with a 6'4", 300-pound, seriously pissed-off dead guy. You. We can bring him back. Lee! What do you want me to do? We have to keep him from coming back. No! God damn it, Kenny! He is not dead. Maybe you're right. Maybe you're right. No, god damn it! My dad survived worse than this. Look, Kenny, back at the drugstore when we all thought Duck was bitten. I gave him the benefit of the doubt. Maybe we should do the same now. That was different. Duck wasn't bitten. But come on! We know this guy's not gonna make it. Remember what Ben said. Gotta Arthur. destroy the brain. Come on, Lee, I'm right about this. I know you've got my back. You always do. I wanna kill the racist. Lee, I need you! Please help me! Come on, Dad. Ugh. Come on. Lee! <laughs> Is he breathing at all? No! No, I don't think so! Okay, let me take over. Keep checking his pulse. Are you stupid? He's gonna turn! What? You're putting all of us at risk, you son of a You're f***ing worthless, Lee. Oh! No! Kenny, what the f***? I'm so sorry. I just... It had to be done. You don't know that! Yes, I do, Lee. And so do you. I was counting on you, man. Jeez Louise! I'm sorry. I know. Don't you f*** touch me! Clementine! Clementine! Come here. Come here, Clementine. Are you okay? Is it over? Yes. Yes, for now. But we still need to find a way out of here. I know, but you gotta be strong right now. I need you to be strong. Think about something else, something hopeful. Like what? Like, uh, your walkie-talkie. Your walkie-talkie. Those pretend talks with your mom and dad, don't those make you feel better? Sometimes. We're gonna get out, right? You found a way out? I'm working on it. I'm working on it. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> You actually you killed the racist, so I'm not too pissed off at you. But you could have you could have at least waited to see if something would happen. <laughs> oh my god, that was over the top. There ought to be an air duct behind this unit, maybe big enough for one of us to fit through. Clementine, that's you. <laughs> Does the air conditioner come off? I think I could take it off if I had something to. I had the I had the the, the pliers. Of course. They Maybe there's something else we could use. I've got a rock. Ah, uh, rock won't help. That um, might do the trick. Do you have a coin? Uh -uh. Damn it. Uh. To 
if we can remove these screws, the AC should come down easily. <coughs> it's not coming off that way. Yeah, I don't think it'll be the same for this one. Let's just try. Remove these screws. The AC should come down easily. It's not coming off that way. All right. Uh. Oh God, Kenny. I don't want to hear it, Lee. You think I like doing what I did? I'm the guy who couldn't bear to watch the family dog get put down. But if we want to survive this, we gotta have the balls to do the hard thing. Or at least one of us has got to. I need a coin. Listen, or something. I need a coin or something. It's important. It could get us out of here. Well, I got nothing. Wait, he said he had sixty cents, didn't he? I remember. He had 60 cents, I remember. I'm sorry, Billy. He was still alive, Lee. He was still alive. I'm sorry, Billy. I truly am. I'm lying, sorry, but... Me. We might not have got along so great, but I know he would have done anything to protect you. He was a good father. I think I may have found a way out of here, but I need something to remove the screws on the air conditioner. If you had something I could use as a screwdriver, a coin or something... No. What about him? Look, I know this is a terrible time for it, but back at the motor end, Larry, Larry mentioned something about keeping coins in his pockets. What do you want? My blessing to loot his corpse? Your permission. Do what you have to do. Okay. Oh boy. Uh, any idea which pocket he keeps us changing? There's two where it could possibly be. We could flip him over and check the backside. Huh. He still carried his wallet. There we go. Two quarters. And a dime. Ah, uh, perfect. Now let's do it. Just gotta remove these screws and get this unit off. Alright, coin. Hurry the f Lee. We don't have all day here. Shush, Kenny. Clem. Clementine can fit through. Looks like it'll probably lead right into that back room. Clemmy. Clemeth. Clem Clem. Think you can do this? You uh, think you can do this? I'm scared. It's okay to be scared. We need you, Clementine. <sighs> okay. You're gonna be fine. What do I do when I get out? See if you can get to the other side of that door and open it. What was that? Clem? Clem and die! Are you okay? Did anyone see you? No, but there's a man outside. Where the hell are you going? What do you care? Kitty! Okay. Lily, I'm sorry. We gotta go. I know. I just need a minute to say goodbye. We're good. Okay? Yeah, this is good. Shit, he's gonna get us all killed. Stay here.
here. Take care of Lily, okay? I will. Try not to look at the corpse. We can use that razor blade. I'm sure they got a, like, um... Oh! What are those called? I want to say it's a scythe, but I'm wrong. I know I am. Taking the hay hook. Oh my god, we're going full candy man. Oh yeah! <laughs> oh, I want to make a race joke so bad. Ugh. Um, there has to be a shotgun in here, right? Like, they put down cows or something, or humans, or w whatever. Listen, I've got a hay hook, that's good enough. That'll cut us as well, so... What the hell do you think you're doing? Getting my family back. What are you gonna do? Walk up and grab his gun? Good a plan as any. Kenny's gonna get his head blasted off. Don't worry, I'll just shove the thing in his neck. What are you doing outside the barn? Oh! Just going in the place like you said. I mean, we sitting out in the rain like the end of the year. Mama says we can't keep that many folks alive and not expect trouble. Take one to keep and kill the rest. Not to kill. You must meet on the trail. What's he doing out there? I don't oh, know. I know. This is my favorite part, too. When I let one think they I'll can just walk eye. right out. See what he's doing now? Alright. Lee, focus. Where's Danny? I don't know. How should I see? Oh. Lee. What? Okay. Uh, hello. Oh, grab, 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 Dude, I was clicking, man. Come on, man. Hello. Hello. Kenny! Oh, hello. It was you who set up the trap the whole time. It was you. Where is the Logan kid, by the way? I have not seen him. No! Oh, they stayed back at base camp, I remember, with Colin. right now. Cannibalism is not the answer! Aren't the walkers eating enough of us? You gotta keep me alive! If you kill me, the meat gets tainted! You can't eat it! You're already tainted! Do it then! 
Why did I go for the face? Oh! Hi, Clementine! <coughs> you had to watch that. This new tortured Mark. You fed us! Mark! You tried killing us! Just go. <laughs> I'll keep them in safe. Although, in, they were good people. And I don't think they would have tried to kill us unless something happened to us first. So... Oh man. <laughs> <Get it. coughs> oh great. And we're in friggin' Tornado Alley. Look at that friggin' place. Listen, there ain't nobody here. Kenny already ran out. Just friggin' do something, dude. Also, the... The thing ain't on! The fence! Oh, crap. Hello, Carly! What are you doing here? Where's Logan? Carly. Oh, shit. There he is. is! Everyone okay? You guys have been gone way too long. They attacked us. I knew it. I told you we could. We can not hear each other through this storm. I do not care what you say. No way they can hear each other. Larry's dead. They chopped off Mark's legs and tried to feed them to us. Is everyone else okay? They've still got Duck and Katja in the house. Uh. <laughs> Kenny right, bashed in Larry's head. The main gate is too dangerous. <laughs> Go around the fence I'm sorry, I don't know why I find that so funny. It's just it was so out of nowhere. Do you have a weapon? I don't leave home without it. Ben, stick close. And Lee, be careful. I'm gonna take the boy. Can't no, take please don't take my boy. Let's go, woman. Duck. Better bounce. I don't want y'all. Andy, Danny, is that you? What's going on out there? Yeah, it's me. Oh, God. <laughs> Ain't no way she believed oh, that. Let me go. Lee, hit back. Don't come in here! You're a stupid man to go! Don't come around, man! Yeah. Not her girlfriend, though! Please! Please, don't you take another step! Brittany, come on now! You know you don't want to do this! Just go away and leave us be! Brenda? Stop just... right there! I mean it! Chill. Think about what you're doing. It doesn't have to end like this. Calm it. Calm it. Kill her, Lee. Just let me go. Just calm down. Just calm down. Oh my Stay god. Back. Don't do anything stupid. Let her go, Brenda. Please, listen to him. Take a few steps back. Just a few more steps back. Just a bit more. I don't want to kill you, Lee. Then no! Why kill her? Please don't make this any worse. Just stop! <coughs> there you go. Couple steps more. There go. Ah! Ah! Where's Kenny? I said don't move. Don't, don't you hurt him. Oh my god. Let him go, goddammit. Uh oh. That ain't gonna happen. Don't get up. Oh! Ah! <coughs> Kenny! Andy. Who the f do you people think you are? Look at What do you mean, done. you people? Down. Calm down. What for? It's awfully loud. All we wanted was some goddamn gasoline. 
Wait, did you sh Where did you shoot him? Oh, damn. What was that? That's right. Get up. Get up. No. if you aim for the head. Oh, we gotta see ourselves beating his head in. Let's go. This is for Mark. This is for Larry. This is for all the other people you potentially killed. Screw you, John Stamos. Die. Uh. How long does this has to have to go on for? Please, that's enough. <sighs> He's had enough. We killed his other family members. Just kill him too. Is that all you got, Lee? <laughs> you ain't. Lay on the ground, you filthy it's piece of shit. Fuck you! This <coughs> dude is dead and mama get out of here! You! You! <laughs> I said it's over! Just walk away! Don't you dare walk away from me, Lee! Get back here and finish this, Lee! Put a bullet between his eyes. Oh, I'm finishing it off, boy. I'm a psychopath! <laughs> there goes the generator. Ugh. Listen, they had weapons. Oh, uh, well, never mind. It's too overrun. I was gonna say, just hide out in the house, but no, there's a lot of zombies. Or walkers, I should say. Okay. Well. Are you holding up, Clementine? Do not give me that look. I tried to save Larry and he was racist. Hey Lee, I'd say I'm sorry for leaving the motel unattended, but, you know. I'm glad you showed up when you did. If you hadn't taken that shot at Andy, we might not have gotten out of there. <laughs> really killing people? For food? Yes. Yeah, they were. That is sick, God. Just, ugh. Clementine, she doesn't know, right? Oh, she knows. <laughs> Ziku was there. Carly. 
Katya managed to grab this while she was in the house. She Ew. said it was with your stuff. Oh. Yeah. I found Sweet. it while I was looking for the people who shot Mark. Do you want it? Why don't you keep it? Sometimes it helps to have something you can document your thoughts on. It's out of batteries, but thanks. <sighs> How are you doing? I'll be fine. I'm just not as young as I used to be. Hun, go on ahead and give me and Lee a second. Yeah, we gotta talk about Larry, dude. There's gonna be fallout. For killing Lily's dad? Yeah, I would imagine so. What do you think? You're no hero. You're no hero. You destroyed two lives in that meat locker. Kenny, you're not a bad man, but f what the hell are we gonna do now? Um. Well, we lost the racist, which is good. We have less mouths to feed. Uh. Um, Come on, Clementine. Stay close. <coughs> Lee, did you have to kill those men? Yes, I did, Clementine. Yes. Oh. Bad men, Clementine. They killed Mark, and they were gonna kill all of us. They had to be stopped. Understand? Yes, I think so. You have to. Hey, Dad, what's that noise? Oh, God damn it. It's them. Sounds like a car. Oh, God. Oh. No more strangers. Oh. That is either a really good or really bad thing to hear during an apocalypse. It's almost scary. Oh, it's a family car, never mind. Kenny, you go check it out. Come out or I'll shoot. It didn't answer. So they either abandoned it or it's dead. Whoever's in there is dead. I did see something moving though. Yo, what's up? Figures. Oh, he crap. didn't bother to look in the back. Baby, you gotta see this. A load of food and supplies back here. This food could save all of us. <clears throat> Not all of us. Oh, don't <sighs> about it, please. I understand, but like, come on. Look, we don't know if these people are dead. If they they just back, left their car we're here. We're just monsters who came out of the woods and ruined their lives. This stuff isn't ours. Dad, whose car is it? Don't worry about that, Duck. It's ours now. It's abandoned, Ducky. Don't worry. What if it's it not? It is. Well, what if it's not abandoned? What if it is someone's? Okay, listen. Why would you abandon your car, leave it open, and while it's making sound, just abandon it in the middle of a forest during an apocalypse? Why'd you do that? Whoever did this, it's on them. We have to take this, Clementine. We need it to survive. I'm sorry, sweetheart, but it's not about right and wrong anymore. It's about survival. That's right. Survival of the fittest. Survival of the fittest. <coughs> Remember, guys, take what we need and want. All right, I'll take hey, this. Maybe we'll survive this after all. Duck, why don't you carry this? Okay. You all get a box. Surprise. <coughs> I'll take it. I really hope he doesn't come back. More Imagine we here. come back and there's some 80 year old guy that's like, Why are you taking my food? And he's all upset and he's all sad. And I'll feel then that'll hurt my heart. Got a box of food here. How about we leave all that okay. other stuff and just take the food? Thank you, Logan. What's this? This hoodie looks to be about your size. Why don't you hold on to this? It might get cold. It's not mine. Then don't. Ugh. 
would not like the bandits. We didn't hurt anybody to get this. Understand? I guess so. Convince Clementine that it's okay to take the hoodie. Where the hell did the other stuff go? There was like two more boxes in here. Clem, don't pout hey, about it. All right, you see worse. One of those boxes. I thought they might work in your camcorder. Here, <coughs> you can have some too. For your walkie-talkie. Batteries, huh? Oh, they gracias. Mucho. You're not gonna let me live that down, Muchos gracias. Said thank you very much in Spanish. I gotta keep up my Duolingo oh, god. lesson. Oh my we, god, I just realized I wanna do my Duolingo Spanish lesson. Oh dear god, he's gonna kidnap my family. Oh sh. Oh. Who. Who are those people? Kenny? Oh, that's us. I thought it was like. I thought there was like different people and I was concerned like, oh god. Wait. Jake, Bart, Linda, and all y'all sickos from the save lots. They call y'all bandits, but you're <laughs> They were spying on us. Look at you. Look at you. Oh, you need a mama, sweetheart. We won't let them bandits get you, will we? No. Okay. Where's your hat? I don't know. Can you help me find it? Oh. Sure. When did you lose it? I had it a couple days ago. I promise. If I find thinking it, you're I'll safe. Sitting there acting like things are the way they used to be. The dead don't kill their own. It's the living you gotta be afraid of. The yep, it's that crazy woman. Friends. The people who took... Don't worry, little girl. Bandits got their eye on that dairy. As long as they keep getting food from them. You'll be safe. I promise. This woman's delusional. Next time on The Walking Dead. This place is done. It's time to move on. Screw it. Not like you ever listened to a damned word I said. Is hey, this all you got? I told you this town is tapped. Do you have any idea what we had to do to get all that? <coughs> oh god. We need to leave. Duck was asking about the farm Whoa. last night. Not much phase at all. Okay, we've got the RV Adam. working. I need to get to the coast. Get him out of all this madness. Uh oh, bandits. Lily's not doing so good, huh? You murdered her dad. I did what I had to and you know it. Maybe people out there got Ooh, a train. lined up better. better than us at least. Oh, be folks who have all oh new survivors. Do people get mad when they're scared? Sometimes, All the time. Yeah, they do. This is crazy. I'm the one keeping this group going. We can sort this oh, out. Oh, great. Now I'm going to have to put up a third one. I'll tell you what we need to sort out. We can't let one person <laughs> this up for everyone else. Okay. So. All right. Chopped David's leg off, 84%. Shot Jolene, only 12%. Okay. <laughs> Alright, helped kill Larry, 68. Uh, killed both of the John brothers, 17%. That's low. Stole food from the car, 55 That's relatively balanced. Anything else? Okay. Can I skip this, please? Please. Please, let me skip. Let me skip! Lee Everett and Dave Fanoy? Melissa Hutchison? Related to Josh Hutcherson? Ruby Butterfield? These are some of the best names I've ever heard. Butterfield. The guy up there was named Trevor Hoff Hoffman as well. It's the most southern name ever, Trevor Hoffman. Andrew Pink and Donna Pink. And me? Wow! All rights reserved to Telltale Incorporated. Well, uh, that was episode two of uh, The Walking Dead. I 
Wow, that was a good episode. I should have recorded the first time I played it, but that wasn't like a total playthrough. This was like a total playthrough of episode 2. I'll probably do a total playthrough of episode 3, probably. Uh, but um, anyway, yeah, that's Walking Dead in 2024. Still a really good game. And uh, can't wait to play it again. I'll Again, I'll probably like uh, record myself playing episode 3 because it's a really good game. And I'm curious to see what happens next anyway. See you fellas, I'm gone. Bye bye. Open eye, feel the waves cut through me, hypnotized by the sounds I'm breathing.